What if I told you I could totally simplify the game of football in a way with simple principles that made you play the game better? Would you be interested? Well, in this video, I'm going to share that with you. I'm going to share you how to play the game properly, how to be more effective on the field, and how to be a better footballer. I want you to grab a piece of paper and a pen and write these principles down whenever you are doubting yourself, whenever you're struggling with your form, come back to these principles, these simple principles, and review them, and you're gonna feel a lot better with yourself. Because football, it really is a simple game, but players, us players, we make it much more difficult than it has to be. Principle number one, play hard. Talent is so overrated. Obviously, I want you to be a talented player. I want you to develop your skills, but if you don't understand the importance of hard work, having a great work ethic, you are not going to succeed in this game. So every time you are on your own, in your team practices, in your games, are you the hardest working player on the field? And you have to be honest with yourself. This is about cutting out all of the BS. It's about cutting out any excuses. It's about being real. Are you working as hard as you can? Can you push yourself harder? Can you do more? Principle number two, play smart. Keep things simple. Too many players take too many touches, overcomplicate the play, do too many things wrong. If you want to be successful, you want to keep possession of the ball, you want to be a good attacker, learn to play simple. Try to play two touch, three touch, as much as possible. If you can play one touch, great. There will be times when you have to take multiple touches to get past players and those are in attacking areas usually on the sidelines to get across or shot in the box but for the majority of the play can you play simple good first touch into space good accurate pass to a teammate move into new space and get the ball back principle number three play quickly if you are dwelling on the ball even if you're only taking two touches but you're doing it in a slow manner, you're slowing down the whole rhythm of the game and your team is going to struggle to attack and penetrate the other team's defense. So if you want to be more successful, if you want to be noticed, try to do everything quicker. So in your individual training, when you're pushing yourself, can you dribble quicker? Can you juggle quicker? Can you take shots quicker? Obviously you want to do everything with good technique but can you always push your speed? In your team practices, in your games, can you get the ball quicker? Can you receive quicker? Can you move into new space quicker? Can you do everything more quickly? Principle number four, keep the ball. Ball possession is so important. The football, the actual ball, is the most important thing on the field. If you have the ball, if your team has the ball, you control the play. The other team can't score if you have the ball. If you watch Barcelona, the best way that they defend is by keeping the ball. They never let the other team touch the ball. So you always want to try to attack, you want to try to be direct, to attack quickly, but if the play isn't on, the pass isn't there, don't rush it. Keep possession of the ball, keep it moving amongst your team. Obviously you have to be smart in your own defensive third. If you're in trouble, don't be afraid to kick the ball up the field, but instead of just kicking up the field, can you kick it to your striker? Can you kick it to someone higher up the field and keep possession of the ball? Principle number five, pressure quickly. Now I'm talking about the defensive side of things. When you lose the ball, can you pressure the opponents quickly as possible to win that ball back? I think you will find even if you're not winning the ball, but you're pressuring quickly, you're getting in their face, you're shutting them down, you're getting in their feet. If you don't win the ball, they're gonna make a mistake, they're gonna make an error, they're gonna kick it up the field, and then your team is gonna get the ball, and then again, go back to the, net, the last principle, keep possession of the ball. So I know you've been taught to jockey, and you do have to be cautious, especially more so in your defensive third, you don't wanna get beat easily. But even when you're jockeying, can you get there quickly and then jockey? In the attacking thirds, if you're defending as a striker and everyone on the team has to defend, so whatever your position, you have to be willing to work hard to pressure quickly to get that ball back. So even, or especially if you're in the attacking third, 
pressure as quickly as you can, make them make errors. The sixth and final principle I want to share with you is have fun. If you are not passionate about this game, if you don't love playing the game of football, you need to find something else. Life is way too short to do things you don't enjoy. But if you do love football, if you enjoy getting to the field every day, lacing up your boots, feeling the grass, feeling the ball at your feet, if you enjoy every moment of it, you're going to be much more successful. So love this game, watch the game, breathe the game, live the game. If you're passionate about it, you're going to be a lot better on the field. Please like, comment, favorite, and share this video on any form of social media, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. I really appreciate it all. It helps me get more views and it helps me help more people. Come back tomorrow. I'm going to do another video. We're going to keep improving, keep learning, and continue to become a better player every day. Most important thing is that you are on my email list. If you're not, go to my website, fill in that opt-in form on the right sidebar, and you're going to start to get weekly tips, weekly advice from me to become a better player. Come back tomorrow. I better see you here. I hope you're training hard on your own. Remember that individual training is where you're going to make the serious improvements. Stay focused, stay committed, and stay passionate about this game because it really is the best game in the world. We'll see you next time.